Oh yay! Welcome back. So this video will be sharing about sprite ship animation in Unity. Okay, so this is an image called sprite ship. Okay, this this image I did put at the bottom of the video. There's a link you can download and then test it out. Okay, what is sprite ship? Spreadsheet is an image consists of several smaller image and okay previously I did introduce a music string that is actually having a individual images right so try to guess which is actually a better one mm -hmm. so the answer will be this spreadsheet will be better because of um, spreadsheet can help to improve the game performance and then it can reduce memory usage. Okay, so to actually combining the image together, in the internet itself, there's a lot of sources that you can actually search on. Um, there's some, um, yeah, this is the first one, a uh, texture packer that's normally I use. You can actually pack all the image together. Okay. Okay. So right now we go into our Unity. Okay. Yeah, I did put in my image already in my Unity. Okay. So for Unity, when we import these images, right? If we open this arrow, it still is a single image for it. But to actually make sure there's a multiple image, you have to do some setting over right here. Okay, so sprite mode, you can actually change the multiple. And then after that, um, click on apply. Okay, so when you're clicking apply, you thought that it, it may be done really, but in fact, it's heaven. You have to go to your sprite editor. Okay, so this part editor will help you to slice the image. Okay, so probably go to this slice. There's a automatic. There's some grid by cell size, grid by cell count. Um, let's say grid by cell size is let's say I know that this image probably clock in hundred by hundred. Then you can just straight away grid by cell size. Okay, but yeah, just try it out. Yep, you see. 64, 64 is just so small here. So it will just separate all the images into this 64, 64. But how about grid by cell count? So cell count will be focused on the column and the row. Let's say now I have two column. At two row, how many column? Okay. But probably my image right now not suitable to use this because of you see that. If you actually use two row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Okay. If I slice it, it doesn't have a very equal size of it. That's why my one doesn't suitable for this. Normally I use automatic. Okay. Then I can slice it. Yeah. Then you will see the white color line over here yeah it's very hard to see okay but if you want to see then you can click on it then it will show you then after you slice it i will click apply okay so when you're clicking apply when you open up this arrow then you will see individual of them here okay cool so this is how we actually slice the image in unity okay Let's say if I want to do a sprite animation, how can we do that? It's actually very easy. I normally will select the first one using control. Okay, then select the last one, shift. Let's say this is my walk, the run animation. I just, just drag it into here. Then it will prompt you a window, ask you to have animation. Okay. So you can save in your animation folder. Okay, I will teach you another way on how to do it. But firstly, I will drag in my character first for only one image. OK, 
Okay, probably I just named it uh, red guy. Okay. okay, so after that, I create from this animation tab and save in your animation folder. Red guy, run. Okay, save it. So this animation timeline will be activated. Okay. So I will select the first one and the last one again, shift, like just now, how I did, and drag it again to here. Yep. Then it, it's actually working the same exactly with your music string last, if you actually follow my tutorial before. Yeah. Okay. So if happen to be too fast, then you can actually slow down this by dragging this timeline so it will get longer probably to here yeah yep now it become walk already yeah that's it that's about a uh, strike sheet animation Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, like, share, and subscribe me. Thank you.